Hi, and welcome to another presentation from Your Business Tutor. Learning your way, anytime, anywhere. Technology is one of the most important ways in which an organisation can ensure it stays ahead of its competition. This is why this presentation on finance technology is so important, as it will look at how an organisation can embrace new developments to improve the effectiveness of their business. Okay, so what are we going to learn in this presentation? We're going to find out how technology is used in the finance department. Okay, let's get started by asking, how is technology used in the finance department? Probably the most influential piece of technology to affect the finance department over the last 40 years is spreadsheet software such as Microsoft Excel. This is because spreadsheets have allowed businesses to put financial statements such as income statements and cash budgets into a digital format. As you might expect, this has created a number of benefits such as financial statements can now be saved for later use and then edited and updated with new information, which obviously saves time compared to having to restart from scratch if the documents were paper-based. Better yet, because spreadsheets can be password protected, it means only authorised staff will be able to access them, meaning confidential information will be kept secure. However, although these two advantages are significant, they underplay the benefits, as spreadsheets have a huge amount of functionality that means information is not only displayed more clearly, but tasks can be carried out more quickly and effectively. For example, spreadsheets allow information to be formatted using bold, colour and borders so that important figures such as profit for the year stand out. Further still, spreadsheets allow complicated financial information to be converted into charts making the material easier to understand as the data is now displayed visually. However, the true power of spreadsheets lies in their ability to allow work to be carried out more quickly and accurately. For example, spreadsheets allow formulas to be used, which means figures such as gross profit are calculated automatically in an income statement. Better yet though, formulas can be used to create what-if scenarios, which allows a business to compare how different situations might affect it. For example, looking at how different price rises would affect sales revenue. This of course can go further in that conditional formatting can be used so that when a certain result is returned by a formula, the figure is displayed in a certain way so that it stands out. For example, showing negative numbers in red but positive numbers in green. What this all means is that by using spreadsheets, where templates are set up using embedded formulas, that financial statements are more likely to be completed error-free and quickly. Another way in which the finance department uses technology is through the use of online banking, which allows a business to make payments to suppliers and employees digitally and quickly. But more than that, does it securely, as access to the business's online bank account will be password protected. Better yet though, having access to their bank account online will make it easier for a finance department to track the transactions that go through their account and make sure they don't go overdrawn and get charged interest. However, as well as using online banking, many finance departments have also introduced EPOS, electronic point of sale facilities across their business. This is because such systems make it easier to record all customer debit and credit card spending, meaning a finance department will find it straightforward to calculate not only its sales revenue, but also collect payments from customers. Another way in which finance departments use technology is through their use of specialist accounting software such as Sage or QuickBooks. Such software can be very useful as it allows a business to pay bills, invoice customers, monitor its bank account and keep a record of all transactions going through the business in one place. This is beneficial because it pulls together a lot of things the finance department used to do separately into one place, making it far easier to manage the business. 
However, as well as the specific items we have looked at so far, there is also more general technology that can support a finance department's activities. For example, word processing software can be used to create invoices which can then be sent to customers via email which speeds up the process of requesting payment. Furthermore, software such as PowerPoint could be used to deliver a presentation on the financial performance of a business to managers, which of course would be useful as the information can be displayed on slides that allow tables, charts and financial data to be shown clearly and neatly. Equally, the finance department may also use the internet to carry out a video conferencing meeting with shareholders on the financial performance of the business. This would be good as it would save time and would be a lot cheaper than arranging a face-to-face -face meeting. Similarly, the internet could also be used to do research on potential customers before agreeing to let them buy on credit. For example, websites exist which allow businesses to run credit checks on customers to find out how likely they are to pay their bills. And finally, we are beginning to see a number of businesses using digital currencies such as Bitcoin to make international payments, which allows them to avoid expensive exchange rate costs. Okay, so what did we learn in this presentation? We found out how technology is used in the finance department. As has been shown, technology plays a significant part in the effectiveness of the finance department. However, these benefits are only achieved if a business puts in place measures to ensure the technology is implemented effectively across its organisation so that any issues with it are minimised.